I am more of an explorer than the innovator because in India we have so many cultures, so much of things in India that you really don't have to innovate. There are thousands of things. If you just explore it, just polish it a little bit yeah. and get it on a plate, it will take years and years to finish everything. We are in conversation with Chef Manish Mehrotra of Indian Accent about turning food into an art experience and as he continues to explore Indian cuisine as a culinary anthropologist. <laughs> <laughs> so since the pandemic, um, our cultural focus has moved from our love for objects to more experiences. True. Um, we've, uh, I think we've understood the value of experiences. What's your take on it? How do you see it? Definitely. See, um, when you see something, when you eat something, um, when you listen something, it, it, it is one thing. But you experience is like, like going to a chatwala and eating a chat in a five-star restaurant. The difference between the whole experience of eating, going to an old Delhi or going to an old market and having fuchkas where um, somebody is, a cow is coming, a drain is there, somebody is honking. Sounds That's a complete yeah. different kind of experience. And that I would say the perfect experience of eating fuchkas on eating fuchkas. Right. So that is what now people are looking for is complete experience where it touches all the senses. That is an art people are looking for because now people have so much time yeah. during this pandemic. So now they're looking for that kind of experience. Right. So do you think edible art is on rise? Yes. Art, see, food art was always there yeah. from the ancient time of how we decorate our thalis or how we do our uh, Kerala Sadhya meal on a banana leaf, art was always there. There's specific places for everything, right. specific colors for everything. It was always there, but uh, now it is on the rise and coming in slightly more in a modern way, I would say. So, touching upon the fact that how uh, food kind of touches upon your senses. So, do you agree that just like a beautiful, wonderful piece of art that mm -hmm. can trigger all these emotional responses and physical triggers, does food do the same thing? Food, food, food doesn't do the same thing, but it does more than more, that. Yeah. Because when you listen to a music, when you see an artwork, uh, it satisfies few mm -hmm. of the senses. Right. It can create something in your mind, can create something in your in your eyes and something in your in within yourself but the way you eat food mind eyes your palate yeah. your physical thing you can touch it you can feel it it's all different senses it 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 plays Engages, around with right. I would say So as most ancient carrier of culture, food where people used to bond over, have an intimate you know, moment in time, sharing food, having conversations. Do you think via cuisine, just like art, it has an ability to communicate the values and the culture of the people who are creating it? Absolutely. Food is so important for all, all our things. Because see, if you see India or if you go to South America, Mexico, Peru and all these places, if you go to China, and from the birth of a child mm. till the death of a person, it is all mourned or celebrated with food. Right. In India, we do Pindadan, right. which is food. Mm. When a child is uh, born and the first alphabet he writes in a Bengali community, he writes yeah. on a, on a, on a, with, on a rice. with a rice, yeah. with his fingers. Yeah. So food is always there to celebrate or to get people together, um, food is very, very important. And it really represents, um, because when you are doing some art, mm. it can go into fantasy. But when you are cooking, it can never go in a fantasy because it is always real. Right. You will cook what you are going to eat. Mm. You can't create dummy things to eat. Right. So it has to be real. It is always real. And that shows the correct personality of a community. It's, it shows the real characteristic of the culture. 
right. which is very very important and it comes through food only. and it brings together people, people as well absolutely. Yeah. um so you're known for your innovations in indian cuisine you're the master of modern indian cuisine so you not only experiment with meals and have these adventurous explorations what is it that fuels this uh, drive to sort of constantly innovate see honestly speaking i i am more of a explorer than the innovator because in india we have so many cultures so much of things in india that you really don't have to innovate there are thousands of things if you just explore it just polish it a little bit yeah. and get it on a plate it will take years and years to finish everything right i don't think so anybody can do it in one lifetime we have so much in indian cuisine indian culture east west north south so i try to get things and inspiration from all different parts of india all different communities region micro cuisine macro cuisine all different uh, things um, and learn from that and showcase it in a slightly more refined way so that it becomes relatable to even people outside india because that is very very important till the time a person who is experiencing your art doesn't relate to it Mm. it will not work right uh, so that relationship is very very he has to relate to it then only he will understand uh what i am trying to do so that is what making it a more global indian food yeah. global indian cuisine so they sort of take back a piece of you when they leave the restaurant absolutely so can you tell us a little bit about um uh, let's say an instance of a rewarding failure any example um see cooking is one such thing it is uh, always trial and error um and that also because you is no chef can say that i have learned cooking yeah it's never possible you every day there are so many things you are learning um if i say um all that fermentation and all right maybe it's a, it was some kind of a error which happened that kisi ne chhod diya something and it got fermented and then that idea came smoking something got burned that yeah. the smoke flavor the burn flavor came so yes i would say um it is a uh, lot of times some dishes doesn't work some dishes work only for gimmick not for taste so um it happens and uh, you keep on learning with with your failures also and honestly speaking we chefs professional chefs experienced chef we burn food in kitchen <laughs> it's true it's very very true um it's not that ke because burning thing is not that you are not professional burning thing is you are neglecting something you some side of a negligence happen mm-hmm. your mind is somewhere else so it happens so you keep on experimenting with things something works something doesn't work something works fantastically so it keep on anything on your menu that's come out out of an error um uh We used to have a dish called chawan prash cheesecake, and yeah. suddenly, like chawan prash and a cheesecake, and it 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 was bit of a eye popping kind of a thing when yeah. people read chawan prash cheesecake. Said, see, we it it is a totally two different thing, yeah. and um, it gelled it together, and it and it worked. It worked. Yeah. So it nice. was a accident, but it worked. So just the way we are, we were talking about how food works as a canvas for creative work. as well as it's a very fundamental experience, human experience as well True. so how do you see food inside and outside of art see food food cooking is an art yeah it's an art form and um, and that is one such art form which is there in every house from generations to generations and generations uh, whether it is cooking done by a mother or a grandmother or a maid or a khansama or a chef in a, in a. so cooking is an art form only thing is we try to um, and it's a basic need also hmm. so True. most of the time we ignore the art form of the part and try to fulfill in our day to day life as a basic that you have to eat you have to eat healthy tasty food Sustainers. so sustain yeah. so we sometimes we forget that art part of it but uh, i think every housewife every mother every chef who cooks in a professional kitchen sometimes they really want to do enhance other factors in 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 that uh, in her kitchen or in their kitchen so that 
different textures, different colors, different types of shapes and sizes come into picture and then, then it creates our art. So touching upon that same subject again, um, you know, I mean, just like art works around the conversations that surround us, mm -hmm. um, the palette, etc., is all dependent on that. Does food around also, let's say your menu choices, do they also revolve around time, seasons? Does the palette also revolve around what's now? Absolutely, How food, food always, always re revive around, uh, around season. Right. And it was not only in Indian cuisine and all different cuisine, seasonality played a very, very important part of uh, uh, there are ingredients for different seasons, right. there are flavors for different seasons, there are temperatures for different seasons, there are colors for different seasons in food. Right. So, um, chilies, winters, it goes slightly up summers it goes really down when you used to say in every ingredient your grandmother used to say tasir hmm. there's something called that this thing is good when you have cold you don't eat this hmm. when you are a fever hmm. you don't eat that summers you don't eat this so all these things it is all revolved around season availability of ingredients what is locally available it was never like you get things from uh, out of season, like nobody eats mangoes in December. Right. Um, you get mangoes in December, but now we, we say it's, it's not correct to eat yeah. mangoes in December. So yes, food is very, very about seasonal and nowadays food, like fashion, this is the vegetable of the year. Right. It, 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 is, it yeah. happens like that. This is the vegetable of the year. This particular sauce will work for this year. This particular cuisine is in rage for next two years. So these things happen. What are the trends according to you for this year, 2021? So, see, at this point of time, everybody moves towards delivery food. Right. And the day before yesterday, I was reading an article that packaging is a new plating. Wow. This is something totally uh, new thing is now chefs cannot plate their food. Right. So now the packaging, how you pack your food is the new plating. You're right about that. Yeah. And which is going to go further, which I'm saying. So this is going to be the new trend. Packaging is a new plating. So you mentioned that Indian accent keeps changing the tasting menu. Is that because it again relies on what's locally available, what's absolutely, seasonal? Absolutely, absolutely. We keep on changing our menu according to the season, what is available in the season. Um, Sometimes you, you, I have some kind of a childhood nostalgia that oh, this season me bachpan me khate the, which is a very recent thing. We are doing a chart tasting menu. Suddenly, I just remember that during the time of Saraswati Puja, we used to have a particular thing called Mishrikand. Okay. I'm from Bihar, so right. I, I Mishrikand Shankalu is Shankalu, yeah, sweet potato. But, uh, it's a different kind of a sweet potato. potato. In yeah. English, they call it jikama. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but nobody knew. It. Yeah. We said, I have to get that thing. So we found yeah. that thing. Now we are using in that kitchen. People say, what is this? I yeah. said, this is a totally different thing. I have eaten in Bihar, I've never eaten in Delhi, yeah. but now we are getting in Delhi, so we are using it. So these are the things which you try to get it and use it seasonally. It's hardly there for a month, that thing. You know, way back then when we were talking about the pandemic and what do you think gave rise and we were like talking about social media, how a whole lot of home chefs have come around and everything is plated, presented in a way which is social media friendly. True. So it's all about lighting, it's all about presentation, it's all about visual effectiveness, all about hashtags. True. Yeah. What's your take on this? You've seen both sides of I, it. I, I, I know the social media part, I would say it is very, very good. Um, but uh, somewhere we have to draw a line. Um, because um, sometimes I see when you make a hot dish, or a nice dish, you want somebody to just go there and start eating it right. and suddenly you see 
people start taking their cameras <laughs> Are looking at, especially in Delhi winters, and and then you really feel bad. Oh, you, know, you eat, yeah. you eat yeah. it. I will give you a photo. <laughs> you eat it yeah. because it will lose because our Indian khana is a lot of dependent upon the temperature of food. Right. Because we eat garam khana. Yeah. So that is very very important. And when people start doing that, it becomes a bit of a um, you, you miss out on the experience. experience. Yeah. So. So we have to draw lines somewhere, and when people are cooking at home, showcasing on their social media, it is very good that people now indulging in cooking, and they consider cooking also as as a medium which can give you relief. Yeah. So which is very very important. So it's very very good. But the thing is, uh, um, you have to draw lines somewhere. Basically, right. yeah. How do you see food lending to art and vice versa? How does art sort of feed off from food? It was always there as an food was always there as an art. Whether if you see if you um, um, you go, I went to British Museum and saw so many portraits where uh, in our still life where food was. um showcased in a different different forms right. how people used to um enjoy food um in a community way or a proper ingredient and now chefs are doing plates which is as good as looking at an artwork right. Right. and um so it's 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 now it is happening and food was always an art but now it is coming out more and um, but for me food as a plating it's a very very good art but till the time you don't compromise on taste because the food the basic thing is it should be tasty right anything which will look fantastically beautiful but it doesn't taste good you are never going to eat it again right so taste is supreme after that everything is very very important yes. thank you thank you so much yeah.